Hey folks, I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the Fire TV skin and how to customize it using uh, your own add-ons. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is obviously is open Kodi. Now I already have it installed in this particular Amazon Fire TV. What I'm going to do is reinstall it meaning reinstalling the new skin which will overwrite the old skin um, currently installed okay now the same process goes with um, with a fresh installed so if you haven't installed this yet ever um, you have to download it either from Dropbox and I can show you a different link where you can also get the skin from um, and once you have it installed or, or forward over to your Fire TV, then you can just go from there, uh, follow the process that I'm doing today. Uh, so you wanna go into settings, you wanna go to uh, add-ons, and we wanna go down to install zip file. Um, my zip uh, is on Extend the USB, and so you got to remember where you install the way you put it, um, and it's called uh, Skin FTV Master SIP. So let's go ahead and have that installed. Um, should not take long. Um, it should not have any failure. Should should be an easy process. Okay, so it overwrote it overwrite the um, the existing file that was already in there. Uh, it has been installed. Okay, so we are good to go. Now we're gonna go back and hit back a couple times, and it will refresh the skin. So now it's refreshing the skin. And we just patiently have to wait. Okay, so the new skin is installed. Now the next steps are to customize the screen so that you know it looks the way you wanted it to look. Okay, as an example, I have TV guide, TV shows, movies, music. I didn't lose anything. Everything is still there. Um, all my add-ons, um, they are right where they should be. Um, so let me um, show you how I added the add-ons to the home screen. To want to do, you want to go back into settings. I'm sorry, let, we almost skipped a step here. The trick of getting it to work is to um, trick the software in thinking that you're coding it. Uh, I know that sounds a little confusing, but what what the steps you need to take is that any add-ons you have, um, and I go to one of one of the add-ons uh, as an example. I just gonna pick um, uh, one channel, and I'm gonna pick uh, TV shows. And and TV shows, let's say that I like uh, highly rated TV shows. Okay. So what I do is I first open it up and populate these other shows. Now I'll go back and here I'm going to either press the C uh, or in my remote the menu button and I'm going to add this shortcut to favorites. Okay now when I go back to favorites when we go back to favorites um, and again, I have a whole bunch of other favorites here, but the one we just picked uh, is highly rated. So this is the one we're going to work with. Now, this the method that I'm showing you now is exactly the way you're going to do it for movies and for anything else on this screen, okay, uh, on your main screen. And, and again, the steps is that you have to first 
select what you want to put on your screen and save it on the favorites then you go into settings we're going to go to appearance skin skin settings customize home menu and in here is where we're going to uh, be creative okay now a couple things on the home screen you get to see that I have search TV guide TV shows and so forth and movies on yours you these these uh, menus may not appear the same way you may not have or you would definitely not have TV guide that's something that I added on my own TV shows will show on this menu but are not necessarily on your home screen menu and there's a reason for that and this is what you need to do to ensure that the TV shows and movies shows up on your home screen menu okay so let me show you we're going to highlight TV show we don't click anything we just move to the right and with this custom action this needs to read active window video add-ons the the way you see it here on the screen this is how it needs to be okay if you don't do this this is not going to work for you okay this is the only way that you can sh uh, make this work okay make sure that on your TV shows and TV movies I'm sorry <laughs> TV movies your TV shows and your movies on the they have the active window video add-ons gotta have that in there so if, if you have anything else that you wanna back it up erase it and just erase anything that uh, that, uh, that that should not be there and just make sure you, you put add-ons with an S at the end and that's it hit done and what that would do is populate your TV uh, shows and movies in your home screen the next step we need to do is we need to select widgets now normally the widgets are pre-selected by the developer of the skin uh, by coding it through hard coding which means that they have to go into the software program and it's, it's a lot of uh, uh, hitting codings hiding away that it, it's very technical right but we're gonna make it simple we're gonna let the skin do it for us and the way we can do that is by selecting widget and here as you can see I got a few of them already selected um, but let's just select one that hasn't been selected TV show widget 4 I go click on that and these are all the options but none of this will work for you okay because we are going to use our own add-ons now you remember we saved it in favorites so let's go to favorites and here we're going to look for the one we saved which was highly rated I want you to select highly rated and there it is that's your coding your coding is now embedded into the skin so back off back away uh, again you do the same thing for movies and everything else you add in there and then you go and you hit OK you back away and again and again and that's it now you, when you go into uh, I think I put it on the TV shows and it should say highly rated right on the bottom there it is okay now being the first time uh, it will populate and it may take a little longer to show up on your screen uh, but af after that it will be a lot smoother uh, again this is how you do it I'm gonna do it one more time so please pay attention uh, we're gonna go to uh, we have to go to uh, let's say videos go to video add-ons let's select a uh, uh, Genesis we're going to select uh, my Genesis and so we're going to um, hit the menu add to favorites okay so we added my Genesis to favorites now we exit we go back down to settings appearance we go to skin skin settings customize home menu move up move to the left go down where it says uh, movies go to the right make sure that the active window video add-ons that's what it needs to say on the custom active 
go select widgets go down to anything that you want to replace it with uh, I'm going to do it on number six widget I'll click on that I'm gonna go all the way down to I see favorites I select favorites here I'm going to I'm in my favorites and I'm gonna look for the one that I saved and it's my Genesis so I'm gonna click on my Genesis it populates it creates the shortcuts for it and now it is in the skin settings hit OK back away back away and now we go into I think it was movies that I did it under yep nope that wasn't movies so was it TV shows and why do I it was Genesis so this could happen um, where it doesn't show up right away uh, what you need to do is you need to exit once you exit out of it and you go back in it should populate okay let's go back in now and again we, we've done a lot of hard coding so it takes longer give it about 10 seconds and your uh, TV shows and your movies will start populating again always on your first run it will take longer every time you add something to it um, in most cases you have to exit out of it and go back in and then it, it will uh, populate I think I, uh, my Genesis, if I'm not mistaken, was under, maybe I picked the wrong thing. Let me just, um, folks. To the right movies. Oh, I thought I selected my Genesis. Highly rated. Alright, so that's what I did. I picked the wrong one. So let's go favorites. Go down. And make sure that Genesis, or well, the one that you want, is highlighted. Go ahead and select it. It will say my Genesis. Back. Hit OK and uh, the skin is uh, shortcuts is up there as building so you get that little menu on the top and now when I go into uh, movies it should show on the bottom my Genesis which is the one we just added there it is okay um, again very basic process very simple the rest of it guys is, is just you know trial and error this is how you get to uh, assign um, windows um, or shortcuts. I'm sorry to to things. Uh, if you go into settings, and I just want to show you another thing here, real quick. Um, back to uh, customize home menu, and you go up, and then you go to the left. Let's say that movies. Um, you go into select widget. Let's say that you want to change. The name of the selected um, uh, add-on that you put in, right? The shortcut. Uh, for example, my Genesis. I don't want it to be called my Genesis. Maybe Joe Genesis. I don't know. So it's just as an example. What you want to do is highlight it. Okay, select my Genesis. Click on it, and this is where you're able to change the name of the. Um, I don't know, let's change the name of the uh, add-on uh, shortcut. Okay, and then we hit done. And then we, we go, we back up. Um, another thing is, on the left side, you have two little arrows, one going down, one going up. You can move your menus up and down to your liking. If you want to add a menu, as an example, I added uh, TV Guide. Um, the 
way I did that is I go add, then I go up to shortcuts. Uh, I look for add-on, and that is a program add-on because I'm using the TV guide, um, which will be iView. Okay, no, not that. This one here. You hit OK. Uh, once you select it, go down uh, to the set label. Highlight that and click it. And I like to call it just TV Guy, so I'm going to erase what's in front of it. And that's how I've done it. Um, and then um, I hit OK. So now I'm going to have two of those on my uh, home menu. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea how you can add shortcuts and submenus. Um, now when you go to the screen, I have it there. And then I should have it on the very, very bottom of it as well. If you want to delete, uh, you go skin, settings, custom home menu. And um, you just highlight the one you want to delete, which is that one and move, move over to the right and where it says delete go ahead and delete and it's gone uh, another thing that could happen for those already installed the skin uh, previously there's a possibility that none of your um, uh, add-ons or shortcuts will work until you completely reset everything that you have done it previously uh, and to do that you just go reset all shortcuts unfortunately that just is starting all over, but it's uh, it's worth it because it will guarantee a nice clean uh, installation. Now that I've done that, I wanted to show you what happens next. Um, this is probably for any of you that installing it for the first time. This is how you're gonna see your uh, customized menu. This is where you need to make sure. Um, okay, on mine it still shows which. That's hard coding, that's why. I'm going to exit and go back in real quick. I know it's a long video, guys. I know that uh, a lot of you had a lot of questions, so I always want to make sure that I give you as much as I can right now. So I, uh, I apologize that it's taking this long, but hey, might as well be thorough. Okay, so let's uh, go back into Cody. All right, so on mine it still shows movies and TV shows, but here's what's going to happen. Um, in most cases, when you reset everything, it goes back to its original skin settings, which means you're not going to see anything populate under movies or TV shows. You have to go back in and fix that. In my case, I, I have it a hard coding on the previous skin, and I think that that has something to do with it, and it's allowing me to continue to watch it. But it, again, you just want to make sure that um, if it's the first time you install in the skin, you're going to find it that your TV shows or movies will not show up on this menu. And what you need to do is ensure that this says active window video add-ons and that's it um, hope this works out for you guys um, enjoy bye now